Well, hello everyone and welcome to Rhys Thomas Tours. My name is Rhys Thomas, I am a London Blue Badge Guide and this week it will be my pleasure to talk about this weird and wonderful building you can see in front of you. This is the Lloyds Building. This is home to Lloyds of London, which is a world famous insurance market. Now the current building dates back to 1986. It was built by Richard Rogers and Partners. Uh, now Richard Rogers and Partners designed the building I'm standing in front of here, which is the cheese grater. He also designed the uh, Millennium Dome or the O2 as it is currently known. Um, but this was his first great piece of architecture in London. Now this was one of his first examples of what we call bowelism, or an inside out building. This is where you take the services of uh, the building, so the electricity supply, the water supply, the air ducts, the lifts, the stairway. In fact, you can see that winding stairway just, uh, just behind me here. And this is really useful for the structure of the building for two main purposes. One is it leaves nice open spaces on the inside, no clutter, and it makes it a very accessible working environment inside. The other useful thing that this does is it makes it very easy to maintain the building. It means that you can uh, work on the electricity supply or anything else, the plumbing, these things, from the outside of the building without needing to disturb the goings on inside. Now, one of the reasons that this building is uh, so built is because London is so densely packed together. It's very difficult to have a large construction site. So all of the pieces of the Lloyds building were prefabricated off site and then they are brought in and constructed, slotted in, in place. Now the original purpose of this was so that it could be a living building, it could keep on growing and on the very tops of the buildings you'll see there are these cranes. Now the purpose of this is so that you could hoist up uh, extra sections of the building and have them added on. However, this can't actually happen anymore because this is now a grade two listed building, uh, meaning that it is preserved, protected by the government, so it can no longer be changed. So therefore it is stuck in this current state unless that listing ever gets taken away. Now the current building is vastly different to the previous uh, building. We still got this facade here of the early 20th century structure that was on this site. But Lloyd's actually started in a coffee shop uh, hosted by a man called Edmund Lloyd. Now lots of people would go to the coffee places to do business. Now before this business tended to take place in taverns and uh, one major problem with this is that the longer you spent in the tavern, the drunker you would be getting and the sloppier all the business dealings would go on. But with coffee, even though in the late 18th century coffee was absolutely disgusting, it meant that everyone kept their minds sharp and the business dealings could go on much more sensibly. Now, different coffee houses around London would have different uh, sources of trade. Now, Edmund Lloyd's was particularly famous for people trading in ships. And many of the ships going out wanted to ensure their, uh, their supply, their cargo. And so they would go to Edmund Lloyd's and they would get people to, uh, to pay for the cover of this. It was sort of like gambling. You would pay this money, it was an investment. Most likely you would be making more money upon it, but there would be a risk. And uh, you would keep on writing the names on the sheet under the other uh, names uh, that would be, uh, that had also taken part of the insurance. And that would be where you would get that underwriting. So it's literally writing your name under the other names. Lloyds of London will famously insure absolutely anything. Now, David Beckham, uh, the famous football star, has insured his legs here. Great guitarist from the Rolling Stones, Keith Richards, has insured his hands with Lloyds of London. And my favourite is the great Welsh singer Tom Jones has insured his chest hair that he is so famous for having with uh, Lloyds of London. But one of the most disastrous insurance policies they ever took out was uh, they insured part of the Titanic for £10 million, which was a staggering amount of money back in 1912. And of course, the Titanic sank on its first ever journey.
Now I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Now Lloyds of London is one of the most divisive buildings in London. Are you a lover or a hater? Please let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this vlog, I make these videos every Tuesday at six o'clock. I put them on my YouTube, Facebook and Instagram pages. Please like, follow, subscribe. You will find me as Rhys Thomas Tours on all of those things. You can also visit my website, reesthomastours.com, if you'd like to come on a live tour with me. I'm now registered as Good To Go by Visit England. If you would like to uh, come on a virtual tour with me, if you can't uh, visit London at the moment, then, uh, then contact me through my website. And if you'd like to show your appreciation for my vlogs, then you can buy me a virtual coffee on buymeacoffee.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Thank you.